train workers in Melbourne's west. Hey, the Premier unveiled his big new order for Victoria's rail network. This is building trains by Victorians for Victorians. For $2 billion, the Andrews government has bought 65 new high-capacity trains to run on the Cranbourne-Pakenham line from 2019. The carriage is 20% longer to combat overcrowding, with the shells made in China to be assembled in Newport by Downer EDI. Yay! The trains will be built using 60% local content. 1,100 new jobs will be created, including 15% trainees and apprentices. This 60% is far in excess of things that New South Wales and Queensland are doing. They're essentially offshoring their rolling stock industry. But the Australian Workers' Union claims rival tenderer Bombardier could have done more. Whenever we are spending taxpayers' money to deliver local projects, then that has to go with the maximum amount of local jobs. And I'm not convinced today's announcement does that. While the opposition argues the order for 65 trains isn't enough. These trains are going to be full before they arrive. We've got no plan under this government to manage our population growth. In the interim, nine new ex trappler's trains will be ordered from Alstom in Ballarat, securing work until 2019. This all comes as Metro Trains was voted the worst city rail network in the country for the fifth consecutive year. Commuters voting Mikey, service reliability and cleanliness as the biggest problems. Dougal Beatty, Nine News.